the narcissist will take over your life. They will take control over your life. They will direct your behavior and the course of events. They will determine your behavior. They will manage and be in charge of you. They will limit and regulate you and maintain influence and authority over you. Before you got involved with a narcissist, you had your own life. You had your own way of living. You had your own attitudes, tastes, moral standards, likes, dislikes, hobbies and interests. You had things that you enjoyed doing and things that you preferred to stay away from. You had ambitions. Maybe you were happy. You had a sense of trust and confidence in yourself. You were satisfied with the quality and standard of your life because you were in control. You had authority over how you were living, which is what led you to live in a happy and successful life before you met the narcissist. The problem is that when you get involved with a narcissist, they don't want to be a part of your world. They cannot coexist in harmony with people who have different ideologies or interests. But there are always going to be differences and the narcissist cannot accept anything that is different from what they like, think or believe. They also have very unique interests and beliefs, things that go against social norms. And they are fully aware that most people would not accept their way of living. So when they get involved with you, they make you believe that you share the same interests and beliefs. They make you believe that you are on the same page. But they are concealing their true identity and they are secretly plotting to conquer your world and make it their own. Because while they may not like what you stand for or what you like or are interested in, they understand the value of your world. They understand that your world has things that they need. But they cannot coexist in harmony with you unless you have identical ideologies or interests. You have to think in the same way that they do. And if you don't, they're not just going to accept it. They're not just going to allow you to continue with your way of life as you did before you met them. When you don't do what a narcissist wants, they will engage in coercion. Although you may be unwilling, they will persuade you by using force or threats. 
They will persuade you forcefully to do something that you don't want to do. And this is how they manage to turn your world into their new home. Their new home. As time goes by, you are forced to change yourself more and more to please the narcissist. The person you were before you met them gradually fades away. You no longer have any time for yourself. You no longer get to do, get to do the things that you once enjoyed. Because now, every second of the day revolves around the narcissist. It revolves around complying with their demands and meeting their needs. You may find that you begin to neglect yourself. You no longer look after yourself in the way that you once did. You no longer think in the way that you used to. You no longer have the same ideas or beliefs. Because over time, the narcissist has indoctrinated you with their way of thinking, with their beliefs. Narcissists have a fixed way of thinking. And they have no interest in learning new things. They have no interest in changing how they think. In their minds, they believe that if something sounds good or favours them in some way, then it must be the truth. While anything that makes them look bad must be false. Even if there is evidence, factual information or statistics that contradicts what they are saying, narcissists do not care about the truth. If you try to bring up the truth to the narcissist, they will see it as though you're just trying to make them feel bad. It will only anger and frustrate them. And because you don't want to provoke their anger, this gradually trains you to ignore or reject the truth. It gradually changes your ideas and beliefs until you begin to think in the same way as a narcissist. You adopt their way of thinking. It gradually erases the person that you used to be. Because when you're around the narcissist, you cannot have your own separate ideas or beliefs. Narcissists cannot coexist in harmony with people who have different ideologies or interests. They do not like to be told that what they are doing is wrong. They do not care about what is right or true. And they do not care about the rules or standards of your world. They do not enter your world to coexist with you. They are only interested in conquering your world and using anything of value to meet their own needs. Narcissists do not care about who you are. They only care about what you have. What you can do for them what you can provide, but no matter what you give to them, nothing will ever be enough. Because the narcissist cannot be satisfied. You will quickly waste your life away, meeting their every demand. But they will never be happy, and you will soon lose everything that you had built before you had met them your time, energy and resources, your happiness and contentment, your qualities and abilities. The longer you spend around the narcissist, the more you will lose. Until you have nothing left, you become a shell of who you used to be. And when you have nothing left to give, 
even the narcissist won't want you anymore. Because they never cared about who you are. It was only about what you could do for them. Or how you could make them feel. The narcissist will take over your life. They enter your world not to coexist in harmony with you, but to change your world into what they want it to be, into what suits them. They change you into something that can accommodate them and provide them with everything that they need, while making you believe that you are not good enough, which keeps you running endlessly on the hamster wheel trying to meet their demands. But nothing will ever be enough. And you will only be destroyed in the process. Which is why you need to get off the hamster wheel and put the focus back on yourself. Remember the person that you used to be. Remember how happy you were how much you enjoyed life. You had your own way of living, your own tastes, things that you liked. Start doing those things again. Don't let someone else define what is right or okay for you. Don't let someone else define who you are. Define yourself and be yourself instead of being what the narcissist wants you to be. Life is too short to live for someone else. If you do everything the narcissist wants, you might feel more comfortable, but you will never be happy. And one day you will be on your deathbed, feeling nothing but regret just wishing that you could go back and do what you wanted to do. Wishing that you had lived your own life. Instead of listening to what someone else wanted for you. Someone who only cared about themselves. So live for yourself today. Life is meant to be lived. Your life was not designed to be handed over to someone who doesn't value or appreciate it. Someone who is only going to destroy it. So take back control over your life. And remember who you are. And even if no one likes or accepts it. At least you can die. Knowing that you stay true to yourself. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos.
If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at knoxforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.